In honor of the Canucks season starting tonight, we are going to have nachos for dinner tonight. So I will dish out the chips and cheese and heat it up. Then everyone can choose their toppings to their preference basically. Okay, so we have some salsa, banana peppers, black beans, corn, a couple of <laughs> olives because not very many people like those. Then the one item that is mandatory is lettuce. They can just have it on the side if they don't want them on top of their nachos. But um, yeah, everyone has to have a little bit of vegetable. Then for those who choose, some creamy chipotle sauce drizzled on top. And here's mine. Everything except olives. <laughs> And for dessert tonight, Trexa and I are going to have a couple of the Sanders caramel chocolates. So, so good. Right, Trex? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just got the container down for me, so yum. Supper tonight is um, basically a copycat recipe of Tim Horton's farmer's sausage wraps. One of my sons had one one day and I thought, I think I can make those <laughs> and so I have and they actually turn out pretty good. So first up we just lay out a tortilla shell and then some um, craft single slices, plastic cheese as I call it. Now my husband, he prefers just regular cheese slices so that's why he has that. Next up is some chipotle mayo. Then once it's finished cooking, we add some sausages, sausage rounds. I just split them in half and lay them out. So each wrap will get one of those. Then some eggs. I'll just cut those into rectangles. And then just like the sausages, I will cut the hash browns in half and we'll just build the farmer sausage wrap. Like so. And then I wrap them up like this. I wish I had a panini press because that would just um, make them absolutely perfect. <laughs> so that's what we're getting for supper tonight along with some grapefruit. We are celebrating Zayden's birthday tonight. So he requested breadsticks. That's what that's gonna be. And a pepperoni pizza. They are just about to head into the oven. All right, here they are cooked up and the second pizza is now in the oven. And we have some pizza sauce for the breadsticks to dip if people want it. Parmesan and chili peppers for the, for the or red peppers, I guess, for the pizza if they want. And then root beer to drink. And for dessert tonight, we are going to have Zayden's a peanut butter cup ice cream cake. He made it. <laughs> he made it. That is the cake. Yummy, yummy. For supper tonight, we are having some basmati rice along with some tikka masala and chicken. Should be good. This is the first time we're... We're trying the tikka masala from Costco, but it's the same brand as the butter chicken, so it should be, should be yummy. And dinner is served. Supper tonight is just a quick throw together meal because I am still dealing with, oh, my groceries and a few of the family members are not here for supper tonight. So I am making these, I kind of call them pizza roll ups and there's just pasta or not pasta sauce pizza sauce pepperoni some sausage left over from zayden's birthday and then mozzarella cheese and italian seasoning i'm going to roll them up then place them on the grill to to get ooey gooey and yummy all right this is how it turned out i also threw together a cranberry apple feta lemon poppy seed uh, dressing salad with some candied walnuts and craisin seeds. Here you can kind of see the inside of the roll up. It's uh, yeah, they're actually pretty yummy and a fun way to eat um, like a pizza quesadilla basically. So this is what we're having for our throw together dinner tonight. And for dessert slash nightly snacks, I put out our um, 
our Thanksgiving treats. These are sour pumpkin jujubes. -jube. Then we have some caramel chocolate pretzels and candy corn. For me, I went with some candy corn and pretzels, but I uh, really wanted the sweet and salty popcorn. <laughs> so I'm gonna have that and watch it with my Canucks game. I am making a Thanksgiving brunch today. So this is some pumpkin spice French toast, and we are going to have some Barnett pears with it and some pumpkin spice whipped cream on top. And here is mine. This is how it turned out. The family loved it. So I'm really looking forward to, to eating some. It is Thanksgiving tonight, so I'm going to show you our meal in pieces just so I can focus on the actual meal itself. Here is our rotisserie chicken. This is two of them. In here on the bottom are the wings and thighs, breasts on top, and rosemary and thyme, and the jelly gravy. <laughs> it's uh, throughout as well to keep everything flavorful and moist. So I'm just going to reheat it in the oven and get on with all the other parts of our supper. All right, I'll do this now before <laughs> I cannot turn my fan off. Okay, so the mashed potatoes are going to go in in just a few minutes and then we'll get the stuffing started and we have the gravy ready to go here and the vegetables, some carrots and French beans with butter and fresh garlic, salt and pepper. They'll go on as well after the mashed potatoes are in and yep, the chicken is in heating up. And here's the dinner table minus all the food. So our uh, homemade cranberry sauce, I made it last night and I just let it sit on the table for a bit before we eat just to bring it to closer to room temperature so it's not freezing cold. And we have sparkling apple pomegranate and sparkling apple pear for the children and I and for my husband, some white wine. And for dessert tonight, we have two types of pie, pumpkin pie and pecan pie. And I'm gonna have a little bit of both. <laughs> for our post Thanksgiving brunch, I saw this um, Pillsbury cinnamon roll pumpkin shaped cinnamon bun idea thought i'd give it a try this is two cans of pillsbury cinnamon rolls gonna bake it up and see how it works out all right it's all iced up i guess it kind of worked looks like a pumpkin a little bit but i guess it doesn't really matter because we're just going to eat it anyways and have some ruby red grapefruit with it too we are going to have some hot roast chicken sandwiches for supper tonight. The leftover chicken and some of the mashed potatoes are going into the oven re to reheat and I will make another box of stuffing and then just a few more um, potatoes to make some mashed potatoes for the rest of us because that will not be enough. We have leftover cranberry sauce and gravy that we'll add to it once it's ready to assemble. And here it is, our Thanksgiving leftovers, open-faced hot roast chicken sandwiches. And needless to say, leftover pumpkin pie and pecan pie for dessert tonight. For tonight's supper, I'm going to make some barbecue chicken pizza. So I have the chicken going right now and my pizza dough is rising. 
In about an hour, I'll be able to assemble the pizza and get it baking. The pizzas are done and ready to bake in the oven. I just used this bullseye honey garlic sauce for the barbecue sauce. And then I have made, uh, marble cheddar today because I actually don't have any mozzarella, but it should work. I also made us a very simple side salad to have and uh, people can just pick their dressing that they want. I have, le um, not lemon poppy seed, I always say lemon poppy seed, but creamy poppy seed, Thousand Islands, and three cheese ranch. All done and ready to be served up. Yum, we haven't had barbecue chicken pizza in a long time, so we are really excited about this dinner. Supper tonight has a bit of a <laughs> breakfast tone to it. I wanted to um, do something that would use up some of these hash browns that are in my freezer because I need to make some room. So anyways, we're gonna have some hash browns and then kind of like an omelet styled sheet pan uh, creation that I did, just eggs, red pepper, broccoli and feta cheese. And then we have some raspberries and pears to go with it. One of my kids does not enjoy raspberries, so I gave him some grapes. But yeah, a little bit of breakfast for supper. There we are, all plated up. I made, for supper tonight, I'm so excited because I've been craving this for like a week. I made a lasagna. Then we have some garlic bread that I made toasting up and we'll also put it with a Caesar salad because honestly, can you have a lasagna garlic bread dinner without Caesar salad? Oh, not too bad. I think Garfield would be proud. And for dessert tonight, we're gonna have the caramel apples that we made. Venix chose to make his with white chocolate and nerds, Zayden, uh, milk chocolate and M&Ms. I did a mix of white and milk chocolate with crunchy bar. That's my husband's, his is a swirl. Um, Nevaeh's is milk chocolate with nerds and Trexton is milk chocolate with popping candy. Then we have a couple of bonus ones and some uh, just nerd bark, I guess we should call it some nerd bark as well. And for Nevaeh, I cut her apple up into wedges because it's just gonna be easier for her to eat. Cutting from the left, right, front and back four straight cuts and you're left with wedges. 